Hi everyone, it's me, Sammy, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I hope you're all having an amazing day. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a winged eyeliner tutorial. So if you want to see how I did this and how you can recreate it, then just keep on watching. If you do like this video, don't forget to smash the thumbs up button, subscribe down below to see more tutorials and videos from me really, really soon. And without further ado, let's dive into this video. Now, the most important thing when doing a winged liner is using a liner that is comfortable for you to use. Now, different liners have different purposes. I personally use a different eyeliner if I'm working on someone else and if I'm working on myself, just because of grip and texture and just the way that you can mold and work with it. So if I'm working on a client, I am a makeup artist, just in case you guys didn't know. If I'm working on a client, I like to use a gel liner pot. So like an actual pot of gel eyeliner, um, Max one is really good. I also really like the Maybelline one as well. I use that with a small angled brush, like a really tiny detailed brush. And that is how I apply it onto clients. It means you can get really precise small flicks and you can also extend. And yeah, it's just a lot easier to work with, I feel, on someone else with a brush and a gel liner pot. Now, on myself, I cannot recommend the Poundland eyeliner enough. It's one pound, it's the Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Liner. This stuff is beyond beautiful, like it's so, so good to work with. It's liquidy, it's got a beautiful thin brush, let me show you. It's got a beautiful fine tipped brush, not a nib, it's actually like a brush to get brush strokes and that is what I prefer. Now you can get ones like this that are liquid but with a hard nib, I find them quite difficult to work with, I feel like they don't glide as easily and can make quite abrupt stops in your liner so it doesn't look fluid. Um, I also don't really like working with pens. Now the Kat Von D pen has a brush but I feel like it doesn't give you enough product, like I like it to be quite runny so again it glides. Um, but a lot of people do like working with pens and a lot of people do like working with different types of eyeliners so it's all about finding what's comfortable for you but um, for me and how I do it this is the perfect eyeliner. So yeah, one pound couldn't get any cheaper if it tried. Um, yeah, so one pound from Poundland, Makeup Gallery Pro Liquid Liner. It's absolutely perfect. I don't know why it's got this weird bit of tape on it, but I can never get that off and it just ruins the whole aesthetic of the liner, but it is what it is. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna dive in now, rewind to before I did this and show you exactly how I created this. So to start with, I take my eyeliner and I take a line from the corner of my eye out towards the end of my brow. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same line on the other side and make sure that they're matched and even. If we check that now, if we make sure that this eye is now matched up with this eye now, it's much easier to correct it when it's just one straight line. When you start getting into the really thick heavy lines and then it's messed up then it's a lot harder to mend so as far as i can see they are pretty even right now so now we're going to join the end of that flick to our eye a centimeter or so from the edge i'll join my eyeliner to it and then i'll join a line straight down towards the eye and do the same on the other eye. Just like that. So they are our flicks now. Now we're gonna fill those in with the eyeliner. So that is our outside flicks done. Now what we're gonna do is join it up over the top and this is where a liquid sort of eyeliner comes in real handy because you're able to glide with it. 
Now starting from the inner corner of the eye, you want to start doing a very thin line and just in one stroke you want to glide over the eye. Go as far as the stroke will take you and then go back to where you feel like it stops and then carry on from there if that makes sense. And then where it's left a bit of a gap, you want to just fill that in, just like that. Now there are a couple of little bumpy bits here, and that is where we're just going to go over it again slightly, but try not to bring it any higher than it is now. like that and smooth out that line and again I'm going to do the same for the inner corner as well just reline it and try and get it as smooth as we can just like that and that is that liner done just going to do the same on the other side that is the winged liner done now to complete the look I'm just going to pop on some of the Too Faced Damn Girl mascara and that is the winged liner look done guys if you did like this video and you found it helpful please don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe down below and also let me know what other kind of tutorials you would like to see on my channel i'm always happy to do some tutorials for you guys and yeah guys thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it please stay safe and take care and hopefully i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs>